Okay, so we just returned from the hallways. We have our data points now. We measured headings and length of paces in the hallways. Uh, the data points will help us when we start to make our map. It'll help us uh, give us some frame of reference. So we'll use as examples a heading of 90 degrees and a heading of our number of paces 57. We want to convert paces now to the actual number of meters that the hallway is, and this is a real life number. So here's what we're going to do, everybody. Let's get this set up. So to get the units right, let's just think about what we want to end with. We want to end with a number of meters, right? Number of meters? Okay. Get that right. So we just walked 57 paces. 57 paces. Okay, so now think back to last week when we did our, our calculation of um, our paces. We walked off 20 meters. We counted the number of paces. You should have ended up with some number, probably less than a meter, somewhere around, let's say, 0 0.74, 0 0.8, something like that. And that unit is 0.74 meters per step or meters per pace. And it's going to be unique for all of you, right? So if we want to end up with meters, we want to cancel paces, how do we plug this in? Do we put the meters on the top or the meters on the bottom, pace on the top, pace on the bottom? What do you want to do? So if we put pace on the bottom, meters on the top, then paces will cancel, meters will be our unit, we just have to plug in 0.74. So, to calculate or to convert the hallway from a number of paces to a number of meters, we're just going to multiply. Do all of those now.